Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 20th of October, we have new mods and we have some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the new Holland pack by Conta Camigo Modding, PGR Slurno, it says it's had an update again, uh, by Voyet Varek, 12 Mario, Mirio, sorry, Grasslands by Steve's Mods. Um, the Robert BMV33 by Simulagri Modding has had an update. Part of that is console release. We'll have a look at that later. The Deutz Fast Starliner 404SH by Vectorman. The Massive Ferguson 6600 Blower by Blower. And the Case IH Quad Track Series by Steenkamp Modding, Space Cossacks and NDMM have all had updates today. The one the Robert BMV33 that I showed saying uh, console release. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. I'm going to start with the ones I've got up here and then we'll work our way down. We have got in front of us the Multi Hitch by GeForce Modding. I, am I going mad? I thought this came out last week or the week before. I've just scoured through the mods and I can't find it. Premonition, maybe? I don't know. Very peculiar. Anyway, this hitch comes in all different connection varieties plus there are adapters and CSZ packs and all you know various different ways we can do this this in essence is um, the multi hitch is designed it's got a ball hitch and it's got a pin hitch this is designed to go on any vehicle to allow the movement of trailers around yards and you know where it's not the sort of thing you would use for hauling long distances it does say in the mods hub that caution attaching to a semi truck trailer is possible but not recommended it does have tension belt support as well, so you can strap it down onto trailers if you wish. Um, nicely made, like I say, it hooks up to whoever you want. I know most things have a trailer hitch on them. Some of the telehandlers trailer hitches work, some don't. But there's also the front lifter mod by Pepe978, which gives you the ability to have hitches on various different trailers and things as well. But if you just want to move a bit of stuff around the yards, you haven't got a tractor available, it's out in the fields, whatever it might be, the hitch here may be the thing you are looking for. As I said, it does come in various different forms. It's under tools. If we go to miscellaneous, there is one there. I think it's one slot in every situation you'll find it in. Um, this one will go on a three-point link. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, and that's the same in, in every single category. We can change the colour from anything on that palette, but you'll also find one under skid sill loaders, there's one in front loaders, one in wheel loaders, and one in telehandlers. If I go down to the wheel loader one, for example, there we go, the multi-hitch. Again, one slot, 400 to buy. This one's just got the wheel loader attacher but again we can change it to any colour on that palette like so and that's that's that that's by GeForce Modding does what it says on the tin next up we have got the Robert GMC this is by Paolo 5090R this is a silage fork for all intents and purposes but it will do lots of other different things Really nicely detailed, nicely made. It's got the silage cutter on the front. The premise behind that being that you come up to the silage clamp bunker silo. Um, unlike in game, normally with a with a silage clamp, you kind of cut into it and it stays fairly sort of stable. It doesn't flow really, um, and then you use the cutter section to cut in and grab a section of what you want. Um, this you will find. Where was this one? This was under telehandlers, I think. There we go. So you find it under telehandlers, but there are options for all the different bits of machinery, as you'll see in a second. It will take all crop types, so you can use it as a bucket for anything. It's not just for silage, but I mean, that in essence is what the, the cutter bit on the front is for. We've got the GMC 170 which is 850 litres, the 190 at 950 litres, the 210 at 1050, the 230 at 1150 and the 250 at 1250. I think that's it, yep. And with each of them we can have it Manitou which is the forklift, this is for the connectors, we can have telehandler, we can have wheel loader, skid steer loader 
and back to Manitou. But again, with this, there are all sorts of adapters and things available within the Mods Hub. Um, so you can attach it to various different things, front loads and all different bits of equipment, should you choose to do so. Opens and closes, like so. As you can see, I've got a little bit of grass in that at the moment, but that in essence is what it does. You can scoop up, use it as a shovel. Open and close. And away you go. So there you go. That's the Robert GMC by Paolo 5090R. I'm just going to move my telehandler over here for something I'm going to show you down on the field, but I'm going to have to come back to show you something here because there's something a little bit peculiar with this. Bear with me one second. So next on my list is this. This is the Robert Hydropail 2 GT Evo. This is by Simulagri Modding. We are going to get onto the, the mod um, that was an update today. I mean, in all essence, it's a new mod to console, but it's just a console release. So we've got the Hydropail 2 GT Evo, and we've got it in two different forms. We've got the standard one, and in this format, I've got it for a round bale. There is a little bit of clipping through the front of that, I noticed just now, actually. And then we've got an auto load version, but it could just be me. I'm having a few problems with the auto load. As you can see, <laughs> something's not quite right. It's a really nice detailed mod. This is um, a straw blower. I mean, generally speaking, you just do straw bedding with it. We have a few blowers and stuff out there, but having an auto load function is quite handy. And this one you can have with this uh, raisable door or you can have it with a short extension or a long extension so it looks like that for doing square bales unfortunately the auto load function will only do square bales it won't do round which i'm going to show you up, up on the top in a second as well because we've got a round bale up there too like i say it, it is nicely detailed but i i don't know whether it's going to need an update again it could just be me i will put that out there now oh, the other thing i want to say at this point as well is i i will apologize in advance if i miss something the mods today have got a lot of different control options. The mods by Zanarko and Dutch Modding that are out today, we're going to get on those a little while, have got a ton of options. I'm likely to miss something, so apologies in advance if I do. What we'll do is have a look. These you'll find under Animals. So we've got the Hydropail 2 GT Evo, and then we've got the same thing but Auto Load. These will use 18 slots each for these. So it's these two we're looking at. We'll have a look at the one that's not auto load first of all. Now it does say it will take one bale of all different types. So this is the non auto load. So we can have with short extension, with long extension or with door. Now the door version is predominantly for doing round bales. And then we've got the short extension, long extension, like so. And then if we move on to the auto load, the auto load just has a short and long extension. It doesn't have a door. And like I say, the auto load function won't allow for round bales on that. We're going to have, there's no choice for colours or anything like that. It is what it is. So what I'm going to do is grab the... Telehandler I've got. This is designed to go on telehandlers. Like so. I'm going to open the help window because we're going to need it. Now, interestingly, we've got a thing here that says remove chain. Now, I thought, was hoping, that if I open the door on this, and I've got to get the control right, I think it's that one, there we go. If we open the door, I was hoping, really hoping, that the chain would stop the bell rolling out, but it doesn't. So what I'll do is just tip that, and we'll let the bell, oh, it says we'll let the bell roll out. There we go. The chain doesn't do anything to stop it, unfortunately. But if I remove the chain, L1 and X. Now these aren't that easy to get into, unless you're very lucky. That was fairly lucky, to be honest. There we go. The barrel goes in. Let me close up the door. I can put the chain back on again if I want to, like so. If I do L1 and R1, if we look at the blower now, I can rotate the blower around, like so. And I can raise and lower the nozzle on the blower. So we can blow left, right, or we can blow forward if you want to, or a slight angle. So wherever you're putting your bedding in, 
Now I haven't got an actual animal pen here to show you, but if I do where are we? unload here. Oh there you go. Oh it is working, that's alright. I wasn't sure that it would. And we can move that nozzle up and down, spin it around and we can spread that bale out wherever we want to. It's interesting that you can do it without having to have an animal pen. Anyway, so that's the non-auto load and that's in its round bale function. As you see, the full bale has now been expended. What we'll do is hook up to the auto load one and then we're always up to the top and I'll show you the two different sets of controls that I've ended up with and I'm really puzzled by this. So, like an auto load trailer would normally work, you've got transport position and you've got, if I press that, operating position. So that's normally the, the function to get the bales to auto load on. Now the problem is, I now have got no function here for unloading that bale. It's not giving me the option to drop that bale down into the, the, uh, the actual blower. And when I auto loaded it initially, it auto loaded up in the air like that. If I do L1, R1 and my left stick, I can move that bale side to side like so but it still doesn't give me the option to unload it in so much as like if I press unload it's going to try and do the blowing it turns on the blower as if it's going to blow the straw out but unfortunately the bale's not actually in the blower it says you need to fill the tool so I'm a little bit I've tried going up and down I've tried all different button configurations I can if I just do that again move that out of the way I can L1, R1, right stick side to side and up and down. I can still move the blower itself, the unit, raise and lower it. So we could blow the bale if it was in there. But I can't get the bale into it. If I press transport position, nothing changes. If I move it over. I kept thinking if I move it just over, it will drop in. But I'm not getting anywhere with it. I've tried putting it on the floor. I've tried switching to vehicle and go for all the different button functions. And I can't. I just. I can't get it to work. So, like I say, I, it could be something I've done wrong. But what we're going to do? Bear with me again. So I'm back up the top. I've got my exactly the same thing. What we'll do is we'll go over to the round bale, and it should come up bale not supported. It won't do a round bale auto loading. So if I put it into operating position, there you go, this bale is not supported. If I go over to the square bale and it auto loads, that's where it auto loads to. It's not auto loading into the actual container. If I press R1 now, L1, R1, I'm getting no options. Unload bales. There we go. Unload bales here. Press triangle. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So why is that working on here, but it's not working on the other one? Okay, now it's in there. That's very strange that the other one didn't do it, and this one has. So I think it's just a case of when you first grab the bale on your auto load. I'm glad I checked this. Is making sure that with L1, R1 and the left stick, the bale is directly over the actual container itself. Then unload bale here and it should drop into there. I'm not sure why that one down there is not coming up with that option. It's just saying unload bale and then it blows the bale. It won't do anything with it. So this should now work same as the other one did. I'm oh, glad I checked that. Very peculiar. I swing that round like so. Drop the nozzle like so. Unload here. That's we blowing that down to the ground over there. There you go. Look. Well, there we go. That's the Hydra Pale <laughs> 2 GT Evo by Simulagri Modding. Moving on. So, the update that is console release today is the Robert BMV 33, also by Simulagri Modding which is this here. This is, in essence, a food mixer. If you look at the, over on the left-hand side at the help menu, it says mixing ratio. If I do R1 and right stick side to side, I can open and close the top section, you can see inside. I can also tip it, because it's on the telehandle. 
It's designed for telehandlers. Again, with very different adapters, you can probably get to work on things. But it is a mixer. And what you can do is pick up loose material, using it like a bucket, scooping it in and then tipping it up. We can turn the mixer on, like so. And it does have either side a chute. So we can R1, tip side left or tip side right. So you can pick which side depending on where you're putting the feed into the trough. Now, this has only got a 3,300 litre capacity and that's the only slight drawback. If you're going to put total mix ration in here, like as total mix ration, that would be fine. I would say trying to mix a mix of total mix ration here might be a little bit trickier unless you're using small bales because a large bale is already 4,000 litres. So you can't do a mix if you pick up one bale because that already goes above the capacity. So I think this is designed more for using loose material than it is for using bales. Again, like I say, unless you use small bales and you throw them in by hand, in which case you can probably achieve a better mix um, than you could do otherwise. But what we'll try and do, I don't know if it will allow me to put total mix ration directly in it. Let's have a look. I haven't tried yet, but it's a cool little bit of kit. Right, start filling. There we go. So if you do achieve a total mix ration mix of 3,300 litres, as you can see, left hand side, everything's in the green. If I close it, like so, when I come to my feed area, you watch this one on the right one side, tip side, I want it on tip side left, don't I? Tip side left, unload here, opens up, and then you drive down your trough, unloading your total mix ration, like so. Close up. Nice animation. I feel like an animation close up again. Very nice indeed. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like the rollers on the front as well, so you can put it on the ground and just roll it along to do the feeding as well. Nice bit of kit that. This you will also find under tools, under animals, as we just saw in there. There you go. 20,000 to buy, 3,300 litre capacity. This will use 14 slots. Oh, yeah, really nicely detailed, nice animations, ni nice details on all of these. Cool bit of kit. Right, moving on from there. Let's have a look at this, shall we? We have got the lizard gigant, gigant. I would say gigant, but gigant. This is the 22,000BR. This is by J.A. Modding, Piazada Doe Farm and Z.T. Modding. Now, weirdly, it's the giganti 22,000BR with a 28,000 litre capacity, but the Mod Hub website says 22,000 litre capacity. That's why I thought I'd check it because it does say in the store menu 28,000 litres and when I filled it up it took 28,000 litres. This will take all forage crops, it will do wood chips, it will do hay, straw, silage, it will do sugar cane which is what it's designed to do. Uh, long base, high tip function, we'll have a look at that too. We've also got the option to have different width axles so you can have standard, I think it's standard 3 metre and 3.5 I think it is. So to avoid it tipping over on slopes and stuff like that. It does have a rear trailer hitch and if you see because of the way this is designed it is offset slightly so the trailer hitch is over to one side so you can daisy chain these together it has a swivel axle so hooking up more than one to daisy chain them is a little bit tricky to do but it is possible with a bit of practice this you'll find under tools under sugarcane technology there we go 52,000 to buy, 28,000 litres of capacity. Like I said, it will take all your forage crops, including wood chip, sugarcane, silage. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette, like so. And then, like I say, wheel spacing, we can have 2.5 metre, 3 metres, 3.5 metres. So you can shove those axles out depending on how stable a platform you want it to be. Jump in JCB.
lights, indicators, tip function, L1 and right stick, up and down, we'll raise and lower it, like so, and then we've got the tip function, it does go fairly high, so we come to tip, away we go. Fairly speedy unload. Nice angle on that, so if you're loading into trailers and uh, like um, lorry trailers, you've got plenty of room. Back down we go. I just want to double check. I'm sure it does total mix ration as well. But we'll stick it under the silo just to make sure. We'll chip, chaff, hay, sugar cane grass, straw, silage. Oh no. What was the one I was oh, was it wood chip was I was looking at as yeah. It was wood chip and chaff. Those two I was looking at thinking one of those was um top extraction, but it's not of course not. There we go. That was fairly straightforward actually, of all the ones today, that's not too bad at all. That's the Lizard Gigant twenty two thousand BI. I know I've said about three different ways now. <laughs> By JA Modding, Piazada Doe Farm and Z T Modding. Disconnect that. Next, we have got the. Let's try and find it on my list. The 3 PTS 6.5. This is by FSSA Modding Team. This is an adjustable trailer. You can have it as a normal trailer, a slightly higher sided trailer, or in this configuration, bale trailer. As you can see, it's got straps, and the straps will go side to side and lengthways. Obviously, those can be done manually if you want to do it manually. So you can have them either side side to side or the full length ones if you chose to we do have the option to open cover which opens all the sides so if you're going to load things on it makes life a lot easier like so now it does say block trailer there L1 and X ah ha. so blocking the trailer stops that swivel axle from turning although because those front wheels don't turn that does make it a little bit trickier if i unblock it that now swivels ah there we go i was looking at the menu thinking that's peculiar what does that do weirdly oh, i was putting it with something else a minute ago when i tried that it didn't seem to work but anyway there we go. Very cool. This you will find. I'm going to say trailers. I think it's trailers, not bale trailers. There you go. The 3 PTS 6.5, 8,250 a bite. We'll take all those crop types. Configurations we can have it in. Well, main colour, we can change anything on that palette. It's a funny beige, but blue, another green, and red. Capacity 6,500 litres, 15,800 litres, or bale loading wagon. Then back again. Standard wheels and standard wheels. I mean, the standard and standard is slightly larger, the second standard. But there we go. That's the Lizard PTS 6.5 by FSSA Modding Team. Moving on. This is where things start to get a bit more complicated. Now it's a funny thing, isn't it? Yesterday when I did the mod review and we had the various different trailers that had the Moet on and I said I'd scoured the mod hub, couldn't find the Moet. What I didn't do yesterday was um, go into the Giants forums and I didn't check for um, mods in testing. Um, obviously these were in testing. We've got a selection here. We've got the Jack Moose Moit Pack by Zanarko and Dutch Modding. We've also got the Jack Moose Moit Trailers by Zanarko. So I've got a combination here of the Moit Pack, which is a zero-turn mower. This is in three different configurations. And then we've got the Jack Moose Moit Trailers, also three different configurations, with a multitude of configurations within those. Uh, we'll start with the mowers, I think, is the best thing to do. So we've got the mow it, the mulch it, and the bag it. So that's a mow it there. 
we've got the bag it. This is inside, bag it. You can bag it up. And then we've got the mulch it, which is there. The difference between the mulch it and the mow it is the mow it will leave grass on the floor, the mulch it won't. So it will cut your grass, but doesn't leave anything on the floor. The bag it will collect the grass up and put it into the back, which you can then unload. So it depends which route you want to go down. What is also cool, in combination with the trailers, they strap down and they strap down properly. So they strap over. Now, as if that's not enough with all that, we've also got within this pack, um, we've got a leveller, which is that one there, and in there, on that one, we've got a snow plough that goes with these as well. So what I'll do is... Oh, that was that thing I was... I would do that when we go into trailers. What I need to do... Is under the straps, like so. Do I strap the other one down as well? I did. Always round and unstrap that one. Actually, that one I could do by hand. I, I honestly, the, the stuff Sadako is, is releasing and has released, the level of detail, the amount of options is phenomenal. From a mod review standpoint, <laughs> whoa, it's a, it's a minefield trying to find everything. Let's start off with the mow it, shall we? Let's hop in. Start it up. Open up the help menu. We're going to need it. Now, five-fold mower, which is how it comes, raises the mower deck, puts the chute to the side and kind of pins it up. What we've also got, if I do R1 and then right stick up and down, that puts our roll bar out the way. So if you're putting it into a lower trailer, it puts it out of the way, no problem at all. So when you get out of the trailer, we raise that up, like so, puts our roll bar over the top to protect us. Now you don't have to have it with a roll bar. I think the bag it, I didn't go with the roll bar. This one, I do have light options, like so, and a beacon on the roll bar. Again, the light options, we can scroll through. There are a whole load of those. There are a load of tyre options too. There's a hitch on the back, or you can go with a hitch um, on the front for the ploughs. We've also got under lighting. So at night, <laughs> honestly, it's it's amazing. You can get it to glow underneath. <laughs> The green one, I've got a green underglow. The blue one, blue underglow. And the red one, a red underglow. So you've got those under the lights as well. The faster you go, the harder it is to do a quick turn. Which is actually pretty good, because there's nothing worse if you're tonking along. And this will do 17 miles an hour. This will also mow at a fair speed. So the mow it, if I unfold it, drop that down, turn it on. And away we go. It's got a chute on the side, so the mow it puts it out to the side. And that thing shifts, mowing at 17 miles an hour. But, like I say, for a zero turn mower, it's really controllable at speed. It just doesn't suddenly flip round on you. But at low speed, we can turn those wheels and you can turn on a dime. So I like that as a function, that's pretty cool. Now, lights let's turn it off a second fold it the work lights on this are controllable if i can find the option l1 and r1 and right stick side to side moves the rear lights so you can see the rear lights moving so we can move those rear lights on the roll bar so you can put your lights in wherever you want it for while you're working r1 and right stick side to side, we'll do the front lights. So I can move my front lights around, again, into whatever position I want. So we've got a whole load of options with lighting. That's the same on all three mowers. Turn the beacon off, lights off. So we can move the lights around. This one will mow and it will leave it out to one side. That's the mow it. Stop it there, turn it off, jump out. The mulch it. Options are the same, although this one I have gone for the option of having the front attachment. Oh, that was weird. But we do have options for adjusting this. So we can move the plough around on the front. This is the snow plough on this, if I detach it. There you go. 
82S tools jack moose mow it snow plow so that will plow snow this one again if I do that one and right stick them down I can raise my bar up out the way lights are the same I can move them around and it does have a beacon this one will be mow if I unfold it like so this drops it down but it doesn't have a side shoot so the mulch it when I turn it on and away we go this will cut the grass but doesn't leave anything behind now look how wide that cuts compared to the actual mower deck itself and again 17 miles an hour this will make short work of your lawn long care if I slow down and then turn again zero turn on a dime but the faster we go the harder it is for that to turn like that and you get a much more fluid turning radius like so that's the mulch it now the bag it I went for the leveler on this and it's got the bag it bit on the top when you hook the bag it up you get that pipe that hooks on like so it's amazing again we can raise and lower the plow adjust the angle so if, if you're doing leveling work on a silage pit you can this one we mow let's unfold it turn it on uh, That's weird, why is that not collecting? Turn on forage wagon, that would be why. That's better. Now as you can see, because the back of this is a forage wagon, and you'll find under loading wagons the actual bag section, when you're collecting the grass as you go this will only run at five miles an hour obviously the downside to that is it's a finite size it will only go to i think it's 1500 liters and then you have to unload it which we'll get to in a second there we go so we are now full unload here and away we go again but as you've already seen though, I'll pick up. You don't have to have that on, so you can leave the grass behind if you want to. So if you do want to collect it, you can. You can raise the pickup if you don't want to and leave the grass behind. So you can use the, the um, bag it as a regular mower if you want to that is entirely your choice again light options on these but what we'll have a look at now is all these in store what I can do is do that that and drop that off on the back that's the bagger section so I've got the mower and the bagger section separate I told you this was going to be complicated so where do we find these three little beauties well under vehicles under mowers we've got the jack moose mow it the mow it is uh each one of these is five slots so five slots five slots five slots the mow it is 7850 30 horsepower the bag it 8850 30 horsepower and the mulch it is 10850 again 30 horsepower options available and this is the same on each of them uh, well within reason we can change the rim color to anything on this palette we have aluminium chrome dark steel polished so we can change those rims we go chrome well, anything like like so main color again anything on that palette we've got these extra ones added in we've got the jack moose we've got the lawn green we've got the olive added into these so that's the main color there the design colour is the back section where the tank is. Let's go down. So if I do it opposite one, there we go. So that's the tank section, like so. Then we've got lights. Standard. We can have front lights, roll bar lights, 
all lights so you don't have to have them at all or you can have them on just the roll bar or front and all but you need to have the roll bar to do that now attaches we've got standard we've got a rear hitch and we've got a front loader on this one oddly you can't have both it's one or the other rear hitch or front loader let's change that though yeah it is I didn't know if we changed any other configurations whether that would alter but it doesn't so we can have yeah front loader attacher for the plows or a rear hitch the rear hitch will hook up to most stuff as well I pulled out one of the trailers using that and it was fantastic additional features roll bar back again there we go and then underglow we've got standard so there's no underglow white underglow green red blue and back to standard if you want an underglow underneath your mower then we'll set up we've got set one which is this one set two three four and five back to one again so that's the mow it I'm just trying to think the bag it all the other options are the same for colours and things like that. Lights are the same. But under attachers, we've got bagger attacher, which is that bit on the side there, if you want to put a bagger on. Bagger attacher and uh, front attacher. Now, weirdly, that's got the front attacher and the rear pin hitch. Comes with the pin hitch no matter what. It's just whether or not you have it with the um, front attacher fair enough and then additional features standard roll bar underglow is the same and the same with the tyres so it's just the fact that it's got the bagger attacher is the difference on that one and then I think the mulch is exactly the same same colour options same choices for underglow attachers lights additional features all pretty much the same it's just the three different ones do slightly different functions now the actual bag it tool you'll find under tools and that is found under loading wagons because technically it's a forage wagon so the actual jack moose mow it bagger is there that's two slots and you'll find that there under loading wagons we can change the main color to anything on that palette which changes the frame design color changes the box again to whatever you want it to be capacity standard is only 350 liters or you can have the um, additional capacity inflated to 1,500 for an extra grand if you want to go down the Baggett route. The leveller you'll find under levellers. There you go, Jack Moose Mow It Leveller. Again, we can change main colour, which changes the plow at the front. Design colour changes the strips around it, like so. That will use, I think each of these is two slots. And then the snow plough you'll find under miscellaneous. There we go, just there. The Jack Moose Mowit snow plough. Same options again. Main colour. Design colour. Like so. Um, so that's the Mowit pack. The Jack Moose Mowit pack by Zanarco and Dutch Modding. Now we've got the Mowit trailers. <laughs> Oh man, it's one of those days. So, three trailers in this pack. We've got a single deck or double deck. Because this tall section here you don't have to have on here. We've got the smaller trailer here. And again, there are loads of options. It doesn't have to be enclosed like this. This one I've done enclosed. This one you can also have enclosed. And this one is an open bed. Which, as you can see, does have ramps. It does have straps inside. Like so. But this can be used to carry, um, well, I suppose, grass or whatever you want to if you're doing lawn care stuff. That does have a capacity to it. So those are the three choices. Now, this one does, these come with fuel tanks as well for refilling your mowers. These are optional on the front here. You can have a, well, you can have a fuel tank on there, which you fill up from any fuel source. They're nicely made. They look, I mean... They do the job as well, which is what they're designed to do. These you'll find under low loaders, not trailers, which is what I originally went to look for. So here we go. We've got the H2S Logistics Jack Moose Mowit Trailer A, B and D. The D is the one that looks more like a regular trailer. That has a capacity of 8,402 litres. We've got the 
uh, Jack Moose Mowit Trailer A, which also has a capacity of 2,920, and we'll have a fuel tank on that. Then we've got the Mowit Trailer B, which is the smaller one. That's designed for taking one mower. That can do two. That can do two. So let's start off with the A trailer. Well, you can change the rim colour. Turn anything on that palette, like so. Main colour, like so. Design colour, you will see in a moment. Let's put it on orange as well, for example. Then the deck itself, we can have deck and gas tank. So it puts the gas tank on there, which has 120 litre capacity. We can have the tip side box, which puts that on. So if you don't want to take two mowers, just one, you can have a tip side box. Tip side box and gas tank. Or you can have the enclosed box, like so, which will do two mowers or a mower and something else. Enclosed and gas tank. And then back to deck again. I'm going to go to enclosed because under gas tank options, we have got steel, we've got diamond plate, we've got plastic, and back again. Attacher type, we've got gooseneck, or we can have bumper pull, or we can... Oh, which one is it? Oh, you'll see in a minute. So gooseneck or bumper pull. So if you haven't got a gooseneck, you don't have to. You can just have a regular bumper pull. Then decals, we've got standard. We've got the Jack Moose. We've got John Deere. And then we've got 82S Lawn Care, if you want to go down that route. And then wheel setup, we've got standard. We've got knock-in, and we've got work tyres like so. So that's the options on the trailer A. Trailer B, which is the shorter version. I mean, pretty much the same options, just on a smaller scale. Again, rim colour, like so. Main colour. Then design colour, which will do the body if we do that now. Options, deck. Deck and tank. Enclosed. Enclosed in gas tank. This menu's driving me mad. And back again. Bumper pull. Bumper pull raised. This one doesn't have the option for a gooseneck. Floor type inside or outside, depending if you have it like this or not, is wood, metal one, metal two, metal three, which is more just like a grid. Back to wood again. We'll set up standard knock in or work tyres. If we do go for covered, like so. It then does give us the option for decals on this as well. Again, Jack Moose, John Deere, or the H2S, Lawn Care, Mow It, Bag It, Mulch It, like so. And then the last one stays pretty much like that. We can change the rim colour, main colour. I don't know why I'm just going around the houses now, but which does the frame. Design colour, which is just the main body. Options, tipper, tipper with gas tank. And that's the two options. We can have gooseneck or bumper pull on this one, or raised bumper. So gooseneck, bumper pull, raised bumper pull. Decals, Jack Moose, John Deere, 82S Lawn Care. And then same with the wheel setup, like so. So that's the options. Let's actually have a look then. So, L1 and X fold for transport. We can do straps from inside. Open cover. Opens that section up like so. That's the one I think has got 2009, but I'm not sure how you... Oh, there we go. So to unload it, again if you put grass in that, so when you put that cover down, if you back up with your bagget mower and you empty the grass into that, when you then come to unload, you can unload like so. But it will take other things as well, if you want it to take other things. It does have running lights down the side. Close that cover. But again, you don't have to have that. As you can see, bottom right, it says diesel. I've got 120 litres of diesel in the fuel tank on there, so I can refill my mowers as I go. Think are there any other options I've missed on that one? I don't think so. But as we saw in the options, you can have that for a single mower, or if you don't have that front section that opens and tips, you could have two mowers on there if you want to. Now I have tried. I'm going to try on this one as well. 
let's open it up. I was curious to see whether or not the straps would strap anything down or whether it's just designed to do the mowers. So what I will do... It didn't work on the, um, the tipper. That's why the, the ramps are down, because I thought, oh, I wonder if it will strap anything down. So I thought I'll go for a smaller vehicle that might fit on there. Maybe a skid steer loader or something like that and see if it will strap down. It didn't on the tipper. Don't think... No. The straps go underneath. If you put a mower on there, it will strap over the mower. Obviously, that's just designed to work with the mower. But it's worth a check, just in case. I'm sure it'll be a question people will ask. Bumper pull on this one. Opens and closes, like so. These sit very low to the ground, actually, considering they're designed to go with this vehicle. They do sit quite low. But it does the job. Now, how <laughs> can I get the lights on this one? Nope, hang on. I'll get there in a minute. There we go, right. If I turn the lights on, I'll never get there. L1, R1 and right stick side to side will rotate those work lights on the back of the trailer. So if you go for the work light option on the enclosed trailers, the rear work lights will rotate as well. Turn those off. Let's quickly grab the mower, stick it inside and strap it down. Should be down. There we go. Strapped in. That's not going anywhere. And off you go. And then tip it, or the tipper. You can close it up like so. L1 and X. Cover. Cover rolls out. Running lights down the side. Does have work lights on this one as well. L1, R1. And again, if we go side to side, we can move those work lights around depending on where we're working and where we want to shine our light. Open the cover, unload L1, R1 and unload here, press triangle. And away it goes. Now what I will do, before I finish, like I say, I apologise if I have missed something. It, it, there is always that possibility. There are a lot of options on these. The rear hitch on the back of this. Did it work on this one? What trailer did I bring out? I can't remember now. So if you feel like taking another mower to work with your mower, this thing pulls it absolutely no problem at all. And at 17 miles an hour as well. But there you go. Fantastic set of gear. Um, so that's the Jack Moose Mow It pack by Zanarco and Dutch Modding and the Jack Moose Mow It trailers by Zanarco. And that, I think, <laughs> I think I've covered everything. I hope I have. Oh, the trailers. Trailer A uh, is eight slots, which is that one over there. Uh, trailer B is that one. I think it's 10 slots and D, that one, is 9 slots. I think it was that way around, wasn't it? So, anyway, it's 8, 10 and 9. It's, there's not a lot of difference between them. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. 
If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.